To test reliability and validity using Smart Playlist software, first we need to draw the model by taking the items or the questions and putting them uh, in this form and then we link them according to our hypothesis and our theory, let's say the technology acceptance model. Then once we have these uh, constructs drawn, we can just change the coloring from here and we can just have this one for uh, EPA style publication format. Then the next step is that we need to calculate what we call reliability and validity. To do this, we go to calculate Pelissim algorithm and then we can keep this uh, like that and click start calculation. So here we have the report. I can just export the Excel file or I can just get the interpretation from this uh, window. So here let's go to construct reliability and validity. As you can see here for the overview, we have Cronbach alpha uh, less than the threshold level of 0.7 for these two constructs. And the this appears in, in red. This means that those constructs may contain items that need to be reverse coded. And the others are good since they are appearing in green and they have this uh, level that is beyond 0.7. Then for the uh, convergent validity, we look at the average variance, uh, average variance extracted, EVA. And here all the values are greater than 0.5. So here they appear in green. So once we have good Cronbach alpha and good, let's say, uh, convergent validity, we need to go to discriminant validity tests. And the first criterion is what we call the heterotrait monotrait ratio. And you can see that all the values appear in green. And then the second test is the Forna-Laka criterion. As you can see, this diagonal should be greater than these values. And then we have the last indicator, which is about cross loadings. So all these uh, values are good, except for, as I said, some uh, scales with regard to uh, Cronbach alpha reliability that need to be uh, checked. And some items may need to be reverse scored so that this reliability can be improved. 